We're gonna cover a super important topic today, and that is how to actually set your site. I just realized recently shooting ASA that there is a terrifyingly large number of people out there that don't actually know how that works, professionals included. So here we go, here's a brief overview. So the first thing that you're gonna do if you're ever gonna run marks off the backside of your site is what you're gonna do, look up here at those little numbers along the top. So you can see that they go from zero all the way to 9.5. So many people don't realize these are here. So what you're gonna do is spin that to zero. So there's the zero right there. And you see a little marker right here on the site. That is telling you that you're perfectly in line with zero. Once you have that dial zeroed, then you're gonna come down here to your indicator and you're gonna line that up perfectly on the center of a line. Doesn't matter which one, any line is fine, but get that lined up. That way, every time that you hit a line, you know you're at zero on the top. Now, one of the most important key features on this site that people don't realize actually works correctly is the gang adjust feature here. A lot of people think that once you have that set, you can only click your site to keep it in the correct position. You can actually use this gang adjust, adjust your site, give it a few clicks up and down, it'll jump back into position and it will always click back in and line up perfectly where when you're on zero at the top, it's on a line. These sites are made a whole lot better than what people realize, so don't be afraid to use your gang adjust. It'll work just fine. When I first opened my Archer's Mark app, you can see all the different bows and different setups, different locations that I have plugged in to generate site tapes. Now, the great part is this app is going to save all of those for me at one time. If I want to start a new bow, you can hit add in the bottom left-hand corner. But for today's example, I'm just going to hit edit under my ASA bow to show you what it looks like to build a new setup. First, you're going to name your bow. Then you're going to give it the peep to pin measurement and peep to arrow measurement. Select your site type. Give it your arrow weight, arrow diameter, and then you have to give it two different marks. So you're going to shoot in these marks and then plug in the numbers that you got off your site. For ASA, our max distance is 50, so I shoot a 20 and a 50. But for reading, I tend to do a 20 and an 80. The wider gap between those two marks, the better. Now from there, once that's all plugged in, it's going to generate my arrow speed. I'm going to hit done, and then it creates my mark card. This is what I use to set my site. So as you can see, it tells me exactly where to set it for every single yard, as well as give me the ability to count the clicks in between each of those yardages. Now for the example moving forward, we're gonna use my 50 yard mark, which is 58.8. So as you guys just saw in my archer's mark, my 50 yard mark for ASA was 58.8. So I'm right about 60 now. What I'm gonna do is run that up to right about 59, and then I'm gonna look up here at the top at those little numbers and then I'm going to turn it to 0.8. So there's the 8, it's right in line there and I'm good to go. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm right at 58.8 just shy of 59 and I am and I'm good to go. So when you go to set your site, you do not have to set this on a number and then count your clicks. I've seen so many people do that like oh, I've got to get to 0.6 and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you don't have to do that. That's why this is numbered up here. You're just going to always look at these numbers. It's zeroed, so you're good to go. And that is how you're going to continue to set your site correctly. One other thing you guys need to realize is that you have to shoot in your two marks. So for reading, for example, I'll do a 20 and an 80. So let's say I just shot 20 and I'm perfectly hitting the middle. What I'm going to do is look at this and I can see I'm 35 point something. I'm gonna look at the top and it is 35.5, perfectly in line with that line. Then I'm gonna go into the system and write 20 yards, 35.5. Then I might have to go down here and I perfectly shoot in a 60 mark and let's say that's my 60. I'm gonna look and go, okay, 62, 63, 63.2. And I would plug that in for my 60 mark. So that is how you get the two numbers that you're going to plug into Archer's Mark to actually set your site. And then from there, it will give you the exact clicks that you need for every single yard. So if you're someone who's dead set on using a site tape, if you look, I'm there at my 50. This is actually the site that I'm using for ASA. If I go back over, I'm going to be right at my 58.8 mark, and I lined that up with the site tape. This is going to give me a guess and check system. So I first set my site off of the back using my archer's mark numbers. Then I flip it over just to make sure that I didn't miss set my site. That's a really key thing when you're using this. This can get really confusing when you start counting half yard clicks. So it is a whole lot easier if you can just have that check on the back. So I choose to run my site using Archer's Mark just because I know that I can set my site to the exact quarter yard, half yard, 
um, seven tenths of a yard. And I like to know that my site's set correctly. So if I screw up and miss, it's on me. It's not because I guessed and set my site wrong. But there is one really big key feature that people don't realize. And it's the main reason that I actually choose to run this instead of run a site tape. If you look at this site tape here, you can see that 20 to 30 is obviously a whole lot closer than like 60 to 70. So what I see people do all the time, and it just makes me cringe, is they will say, oh, I'm running about a half yard low today on a running range where we shoot from three yards to 100 yards. If they're at a 50 yard target and they say they're a half yard low and want to move their indicator a half yard. Well, that might be a half yard at 50, but it's not a half yard at 80 and it's way over a half yard at 20. Because the sight tape gets progressively wider as your distance goes longer, you cannot just move your indicator a half yard and have it actually be a half yard at every distance. That is like such a problem that I see people do all the time. Now with Archer's Mark, what I can do is let's say my 80 yard mark, my far marks are running a couple clicks low, four clicks out the bottom. I can go in, hit edit, add four clicks to my 80 mark. It's going to re-graph everything. It would be a whole new site tape basically based off of those marks. I can do the same thing if my close marks are off. So I don't have to move them together. I can move each mark independently and it's basically re-graphing me a site tape every time that I update that. That is so much more accurate than what I see people doing and that is the true reason that I run Archer's Mark because I actually use that feature pretty often. Hopefully this gives you kind of a brief overview of why I use that, what I'm doing, and if you didn't already know, how to actually use your site.